action. Hello, everyone. Hope everyone is having a good week. How are you, Benjamin? Good. Well, our verse this week is from Matthew chapter 22, and we're going to focus on verse 21. And it says, after the Pharisees are trying to trick Jesus again, they asked him about, um, about paying taxes. So Benjamin, do you pay taxes? No. No. I'm so, seven years old. Yeah. So we're going to focus on verse 20, 21 when they replied, or Jesus replied, he said to them, give to Caesars what is Caesars and to God what is God. So, Benjamin, I have a couple of things here. Mm -hmm. We have your piggy bank where you keep all your coins, right? Yeah. And all your money. I also have a dollar bill here. And it's Benjamin, also mine. Yes. <laughs> Benjamin, do you, can you read that? It's going to tell us where, who this belongs to. It says, mm -hmm. the United States of America. So, we know that this dollar belongs to the United States of America. It's mm -hmm. stamped on there. It is in clear writing, right? Mm -hmm. So this belongs to the United States of America. Benjamin, where do you come from? Who do you belong to? I belong to, you belong to me, yeah, I'm your mom, and you have a dad. Do you know where you're from? Where were you born? I was born here. Yeah, I have proof. I have a birth certificate. This tells me where you were born here in Spokane, Washington. It mm -hmm. says who your parents are. It has my, my name and daddy's name on it. It says what date you were born. It has a lot of information. This tells a lot about your birth and where you're from. But who do you belong to? Me. I have another piece of paper that tells us who you belong to. This is your baptismal certificate. Hmm. This is kind of like this dollar bill where it says the United States of America. This is your stamp. This says that you belong to God. And also, it has your full name, it says where you were baptized. This is how you know that you belong to God. I can't really okay. read that because it's in cursive. <laughs> <laughs> but the verse said, let me get that verse back. It says, give to God what is God's. So you belong to God. How can you give your, you, how can you give back to God? Maybe. We're supposed to give ourselves to God. How can we do that? Like, tell him that he has done lots of special miracles for us. And how can you tell him that? What do you pray to him? Yeah, you can pray to God. How else can we give back to God and serve God? Can we sing to God? We can sing to God. We can worship God. Where do we do that? Church. We could do that at church. Um, can we read this special book? <clears throat> uh huh. What's it called? The Bible. It's God's Word. I have another verse that we're going to read in here that talks about how the, that God created us. It's in Psalms. It's one of my favorite verses. It's Psalm 39, verse 14. And it says, it talks about how. God is all about um, how important we are to God. I praise you, we're talking to God here, because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonder wonderful. I know that full well. That was Psalm 139, verse 14. We're wonderful. God created us in his own image. He loved us that much. He wants us to be his children. He wants us to serve him. He wants us to take care of other people. He wants us to pray to him. He wants us to read the Bible. That's how we can give our lives 
It's God. So, yes, there's money and it's stamped and we are to pay our taxes as adults. Yes, we know. Yep. But as children, this verse means that even though you can't pay taxes, yeah. you can give back to God, mm -hmm. right? So you can even bring money from your piggy bank and give it to God to do God's work. You can do all kinds of things as a child of God. And then everybody around you will know that you are his child. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, mm -hmm. should we pray? Yeah. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for creating us in your image and for giving us such a wonderful world um, to live in and to give back to you by loving others and serving you by praying and going to God and going to church and worshiping you. We ask that you be with us and guide us and give us um, ways to show your love to those around us. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Bye. See you next time. <laughs>